the fly I'll be tying for you right now is called a Super X. Um, this is a fly that was introduced to me by my dad when I was living in Reno. Oh, must have been eight, nine years ago. We were out fishing the Truckee River, and we weren't catching doing very good. We weren't catching very many fish. And my dad pulls this fly out, and all of a sudden he starts catching fish. And I'm just wondering what he's using. And he told me that he was using the uh, what you call the Super X. And where he found it was in the uh, fishing and fly tying journal, summer of 2003. And he was we started catching fish after we started using it. Uh, this is a pretty simple fly. There's not very many materials. Um, the tail we're going to be using Antron yarn. This is claret, claret color, and uh, for the abdomen, just some standard olive chenille. For the thorax, except this is olive chenille, excuse me. The thorax we're using worm, uh, worm standard olive chenille, and uh, the legs, the legs will be using rubber legs, just from hairline, and then uh, for. A, it's got wings too, and we'll just use a standard piece of hackle. It's gauged to the just slightly larger than the hook hook size. So to start this fly, we need to start a thread base, and what I'm going to use is some UTC black 70 thread, and I'm going to start it at the start at the index point and work my way work my way back. Just keep wrapping it back. Something interesting about this fly is that the in the article it talks about how um, the author was guiding a a client, and the client decided he was going to use his own fly, and it's the fly he decided to use. And it was one of the uh, flies that were catching the the most fish that day, and. The client said that one of the things that that uh, he wanted with this fly was to be pretty much an all-purpose fly. Um, it could be, it could do is a combination of a bunch of different fly, different insects or flies or however you want different flies. And you can fish it in all different ways too. You can fish it like a nymph, you can fish it like a streamer, you can fish it like um, even at a dead drift, just let it jerk it, and not even a dead drift at the end of a drift, and just jerk it and twitch it. And uh, the rubber legs and the hackle. Of, just really set this off. Um, they were talking about how they're using it as a, a, a uh, fished with a, another smaller pattern on the back of it, more of a natural pattern. And the Super X would entice a fish, but they wouldn't quite take it, and then they would go after the smaller one because it just got worked up over the, the Super X. But anyway, every time I fished it, I've had pretty good success with it, and I, I like it. So now that we're now we've got the thread back to the bend of the hook. We're going to take some of this Antron yarn and I take some of this Antron yarn and I want to actually bring it, once I get the bend of the hook, I want to bring it back over to the, about the point of the hook. So the thread is at the point of the hook. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to take my Antron yarn and I'm going to wrap the Antron yarn over the, around the thread. And, and then I'm going to wrap the thread around the hook back over to the bend. And once I'm there I can trim it up a little bit. You don't need it, a super long tail, probably about, I don't know, half to a third of the hook shank. It doesn't need to be super long. And now I'm going to wrap my thread about two thirds of the way up the shank. I guess I should say what hook I'm using too. This is a TMC uh, 5263. Um, the actual recipe in the, mag in the fly fishing and tying journal suggests recommended a 2XL hook which would be a 5262 but I like the extra eye length I get 
from the 5263, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, now I'll grab our rubber legs. We want to, when we're trimming these rubber legs, we want them to be about the length of the body. So, the length of the shank. So we'll take these two and we'll trim off a couple legs. Alright, looks good. And we're about to we're gonna take the uh and just kinda wrap it on there, make sure we're about halfway. And looks like we are. So we're gonna put a couple wraps here and then we're gonna kinda figure eight it. Okay. If you do this right, normally the legs will stay together. Um, sometimes they don't, and they don't. You just deal with it, uh, obviously. Can you figure out that? And cross wrap it. And then I'm going to wrap all the way back to the um, band of the hook with the end of the thread. Okay, and then we're going to grab our, another thing about this fly is you can tie it, the author recommends that you can tie it in just about any color combination you want. Um, I'm picking something that's a little more to the naturals of what is around here. Um, I've got a olive chenille for the abdomen, like I said earlier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull um, about the amount between the legs and the um, where the thread thread is. And I'm just going to strip that fur, the fur off the chenille. And then I'm going to wrap this piece into it. And wrap it all the way up. Right behind the legs, where we want to be. And then I'm going to half hitch it. I'm not sure I get my legs caught in there. And I'm going to wrap my chenille around so that's all butted up against each other. And I'll go all the way up to the to the back of the legs. Carefully not to get my legs caught in there. And right about there is good. And then I'm going to wrap my olive chenille off. Tie out my olive chenille off. One, two, three. And I go through and I'm careful not to cut the thread. Cut my chenille off. I'm going to put a few more wraps in there, make sure it's nice and secured. And then we'll bring the thread to the front of the legs. And now we'll grab our warm brown chenille. I'm going to take the amount from the back of the legs to the index point and strip the fur off the chenille. And a couple soft wraps around the uh, chenille in there. And we're going to pull this back up to the, well, index index point, right just before the index point. And then I'm going to half hitch it again. 
put it on my bob, put my bobbin on my bottom cradle, and wrap my chenille around, fly over to just before the index point. Oh, I just broke the thread. It's okay. Just start it up again. And now we're going to wrap the Now we're going to wrap the chenille around for the thorax. I'm going to wrap this to just before the the index point. And then we'll wrap it off. I'm tied to tie the uh, warm chenille off one, two, and three. And then we'll cut off the worm chenille. Make sure we we'll cut the thread. Mm, looks like there's a little more there I need to trim off. Then we're going to grab a hackle fiber and we're going to take our hackle gauge and measure. Since this is size 12 hook, I probably want to go about 8 or 10 for the um, size of the hackle. That's a good one right there. Doesn't have to be a good piece of hackle, it just has to be a piece of hackle. It's um tied in there. Okay. And now we're gonna grab our hackle and we're gonna wrap it around. We don't need too many times, it's a couple a couple three. All we need. And then we'll tie off our hackle. Three. And I like to pull my feather, my feather fibers back, and try to get those to sit a little more towards the back like that and then I'm gonna whip finish and you can see I got a little bit too close to the index point there but still looks good so Do one more whip finish just for comfort. And now we'll cut the thread. And I like to put a bit of head cement. I use Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails on the head.
and there is a Super X. Thanks for watching, and for more, tutor more tutorials and reviews, go to fishbaitflybox.com. Thanks again.